Welcome to the 10 largest Canadian cities. Let's begin. Toronto. Toronto is home to 6.2 million people. It is the fourth largest city in North America. It is known for being very multicultural and diverse. So, in Toronto, over 180 languages are spoken. Approximately half of Toronto's population was born outside of Canada. Montreal. The population is 4.2 million. This is the center of French-speaking Canada. Before the 1970s, Montreal was a bigger city than Toronto. Now, however, Toronto's population growth has surpassed Montreal's. Montreal is one of the world's largest French-speaking cities, but most residents are bilingual. Many also speak a third language. The world's first recorded indoor hockey game was played in Montreal on March 3rd, 1875. Vancouver. This city is home to 2.6 million people. Vancouver is the biggest coastal city in Canada. Although its population is smaller than Toronto and Montreal, Vancouver is more densely populated. Vancouver is consistently named as one of the top five worldwide cities for livability and quality of life. Vancouver is one of Canada's warmest cities in the winter. Calgary. The population of Calgary is 1.5 million people. In the past, this city was an agricultural center of Canada. Nowadays, its economic growth is associated more with oil. Calgary is in the province of Alberta. Calgary has the highest number of millionaires per capita in any major Canadian city. The Economist Intelligence Unit ranked Calgary as the most livable city in North America in both 2018 and 2019. Edmonton is home to 1.4 million people. In the past, the city grew as a result of the Canadian Pacific Railway. Recently, between the years of 2006 to 2011, the population has grown by more than 12%. Jasper National Park is only one hour drive away from Edmonton. This is one of the most beautiful mountain parks in Canada. This city built the world's first UFO landing pad in 1867. Why? Just in case aliens wanted to visit. Ottawa. Ottawa is home to roughly 989,000 people. This is the capital city of Canada. The name Ottawa comes from the Algonquin word Adawe, which means to trade. Ottawa is an urban center surrounded by breathtaking natural beauty. Rapids and waterfalls punctuate the river courses, which are protected by parks and driveways. Winterlude, 
is an annual winter festival held in Ottawa. This unique winter festival, featuring snow and ice sculpturing competitions, snow playgrounds, and skating and sporting events, transforms Ottawa into a winter wonderland. Winnipeg. The population is roughly 711,000. The citizens of Winnipeg have a reputation of being extraordinarily friendly. This city is full of culture, as it is home to museums, art galleries, and a symphony orchestra. One of these museums is called the Canadian Museum for Human Rights. And the purpose of this museum is to explore the subject of human rights with a special but not e exclusive reference to Canada and to enhance the public's understanding of human rights. It opened in September of 2014. Quebec City. The population of Quebec City is roughly 705,000. Quebec City was founded in 1608, and it, its fortified walls are a dedicated UNESCO heritage site. The city's Winter Carnival Festival is the largest winter festival in the world. Canada produces about 70% of the world's maple syrup, and most of that maple syrup comes from the province of Quebec. Poutine, a famous Canadian food, originated in Quebec. It consists of french fries, gravy, and cheese curds. Hamilton. Hamilton's population is roughly 693,000. Within this region of Ontario, the city of Hamilton has the affectionately given nickname the Hammer. Hamilton is home to many factories and industry. Because of this, Hamilton is also known as Steel Town. Hamilton also has the most waterfalls of any city in the world. It has 130 waterfalls. Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge. These are three cities, but are usually grouped together as one city since they are close. And the population of all of them is approximately 470,000. The region is one of Canada's leading communities in technology and innovation. The Waterloo area is home to two separate universities. There is Wilfrid Laurier University and the University of Waterloo. And until 1916, Kitchener was actually called Berlin. I hope that you enjoyed learning about Canada's 10 largest cities. You can download the worksheet for this lesson from my website. The link is in the description. Please leave a comment and tell me which city you would like to visit. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day.